So what's going on guys and welcome back to episode 58 of our Portsmouth Crew Road on the PS4 FIFA 15 and we're going to be kicking off this episode with a home game up against Blackburn Rovers and we had pretty much a uh, quite strong side out, we had uh, Wilson and Hurtado up front, then we had uh, Barcher and Maledson obviously and uh, so it's a pretty strong squad but basically I'm back, back and um, I'm now uploading again. Obviously, um, if you've, I'm not sure if a lot of you guys probably haven't read the um, comment that I actually left on one of the videos, the latest video about why I haven't been uploading. And the reason being is exactly one week ago when I got home from football training, I had no electricity. There'd been a cut, a power, something, and I had no electricity. And I only got electricity again yesterday, and, and it was yesterday night. So therefore, um, I've been pretty much a whole week without electricity, without internet, without being able to charge up my computers, without being able to play on FIFA. And um, basically the only way I've been doing stuff is by charging phones and stuff up at school. Because um, obviously you guys already know I'm doing A-level. Um, but um, basically that's what I was doing. I was charging everything up at school. So basically that's the reason why I actually haven't been uploading recently. And uh, basically that's why I want to say sorry for that and sorry for any convenience I've caused. And um, hopefully uh, you guys... Uh, are going to continue watching the series and hopefully um, you guys haven't missed it too much and if you guys have missed it that's also quite a good sign to be honest as well because it just shows that uh, you guys are enjoying the series and you're appreciating the videos that I'm making for you guys which is always brilliant to see and I'm really pleased that you guys have actually been um, asking me where the videos have been because you've been enjoying them so much so um, make sure to try and uh, spam you know, make sure to hit the like button on this one as it is the first uh, episode back after a whole week without uploading which is a very long time for me and uh, basically we are now back, and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy this episode. And we were actually, we did actually find ourselves one 0 down against Port, uh, against uh, Blackburn. Sorry, but uh, Blackburn did actually score pretty much good goal. We did get back on level terms with a um, good goal from her title, a little bit poor from the Blackburn goalkeeper. But then uh, we did score another good goal um, just before that past uh, Paul Robinson. Uh, it was a pretty much good ball cross, and I believe it's Wilson that finished it. And now we did have the penalty to put us three one up against Blackburn Rovers. Here is going to be Hurtado up against Paul Robinson. Paul Robinson, very very old now who didn't even move and her title slots the ball into the back of the net and uh, Paul Robinson must be very very old in the game because um, in real life he was very old anyway before the game even started but um, also considering I'm now in the third season because I've done um, League 2, League 1 and now Championships so I'm in the third season and he's still there so he must be around about 36, 37 years old um, which is good to see that goalkeepers are still not retiring in the game but we do get a good chance here in the 70th minute Bartram runs through who should be scoring but Paul Robinson makes a really good save and uh, they do then manage to get the ball clear it comes to Hurtado Hurtado has a shot but it was a pretty comfortable collect for Paul Robinson but then they whip the ball in the box to Rhodes Rhodes gets up well it comes out the goalkeeper does make a good punch but unfortunately it wasn't good enough and the goalkeeper unfortunately couldn't get to that one and our Russian goalkeeper, a little bit disappointed to one, so he didn't manage to catch that one. And now the last 12 minutes were going to be very difficult as um, Port Blackburn were going to be all over us to try and get that old crucial goal, which would actually um, get them a point um, away from home, uh, which would be a very good point for them as well, especially up against a team like Portsmouth. But thankfully for us, Hurtado picks up the ball, he plays the ball to best, uh, best plays the ball back to Hurtado. Hurtado is through, has a first time shot, hits the inside of the post, and he finds the back of net. And that is Hurtado's hat trick for the gamers. Uh, what a fantastic hat trick it was! It was a lovely ball back from Leon Best, comes to Hurtado. Hurtado gets very good contact on the ball the first time, and he slots the ball past Paul Robinson into the back of net. And that was actually how the game finished. So Hurtado picks picks up a third goal of the game, picks up a 9.6 man of the match rating and that was how we finished the game and we ended up picking up the three points to add on to our league tally for the so far this season. We then had a World Cup qualifier up against Russia. There is another World Cup qualifier coming up after this one but uh, the first one was up against Russia and we had our strongest possible side out. We had uh, Gareth Bell, Vokes, Ramsey, Isgrove, Hughes, Allen, Chester, Williams and obviously we did have Price in goal and Price is by far our best got player or goalkeeper that we've actually got. But we did get a really good chance here where with uh, Vokes. He comes through, but unfortunately his finesse shot could only hit the inside of the post. But then Gareth Bale was through in the 18th minute. He was through. The Russian defenders couldn't keep up with him. He tries to go through. He runs the goalkeeper and slots in with his right foot and puts us 1-0 up against Russia. And um, that there really um, pleased me, to be honest, that we managed to do so well to actually get through and uh, slot the ball past the Russian goalkeeper. And uh, hopefully now we could try and uh, maybe even win this group, top the group, which would be really, really good if we actually 
he possibly could. But here in the 25th minute, Gareth Bale is through once again. He goes past the goalkeeper. He skips past him, and he just has the simplest of tap-ins as the goalkeeper come running out. But Gareth Bale uses agility and speed to skip past the goalkeeper, Akin Fiev, in the uh, Russian got, no, net. And um, that was it, pretty much. We were 2-0 up, and it looked like the game was done and dusted. So Gareth Bale there, keeping his composure, skips past the defender. He could have went down under the challenge, but then he thought, better not, I was already there. And he's actually scored nine goals in the World Cup qualifiers so far. He's now going for his hatchet with this shot here. He goes through, tries to round the goalkeeper. He gets taken down for a penalty. And Gareth Bale now has a chance to pick up his 10th goal in the World Cup qualifiers, and which would be another hat-trick. And if Gareth Bale could pick up another hat-trick, it would be absolutely great for us. As um, Gareth Bale, I would so, so love to buy him with my Portsmouth creamer. But I, you guys, and both me and you guys know, it is going to be impossible for us to actually even think about buying Gareth Bale. It's just out of this world to try and think of buying a player of his quality. But we did get a good chance to make... Um, our lead very, very strong and get the chance to get Gareth Bale the hat-trick. And of course, Gareth Bale gets hat-trick. He hits the ball even if the goalkeeper went the right way. He wasn't going to be saving that one. And we ended up winning the game 3-0 and Gareth Bale picking up a hat-trick. And Russia, we pretty much annihilated Russia. And Russia were one of the contenders for us to try and get into the next group phase, which is brilliant to see. But the next game was up against the Czech Republic. So hopefully um, we can continue our brilliant run of form. And actually, there we're now currently first. We're four points clear of Czech Republic, sitting in second. So if we could pick up a win here, it would pretty much guarantee us um, secure... Um, uh, for us to co actually uh, continue and progress in the um, World Cup, which would be great to see if we could actually progress. But so they did have Peter Cech in goal, which is obviously their star player. But a lovely ball gets played over top to Gareth Bale. Some poor defender there from Czech Republic. He goes through, he rounds the goalkeeper, and Gareth Bale once again scores, and he's just not failing to score. He's scoring every single game we're playing with Wales, and I think every single game we've actually played with Wales, he has managed to score and find the back of the net, which is, I don't know how he does it, and I just love playing with him. He's just so quick. He's got good right foot. He's got good left foot. He's got good skills. His shot's amazing, but um, we do then get another good chance in the 42nd minute. Vokes was through. He is one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, but he gets taken down by the Czech defender, and the referee had no option but to give him a straight red, and he was going to be taking an early shower there just before half time. And if we didn't already have the advantage, we now had an even more a bigger advantage. We were now 1-0 um, to the good and uh, one man to the good as well. Actually, there he's clearly got a tug of Vokes' shirt. He's tried to continue, but in the end, the pressure was too much and he just went down. But from the resulting free kick, Gareth Bale takes it. He whips it over the wall and what a fantastic goal it was as well. Fired it past Peter Cech and we knew that if we were going to score from that range, it was going to have to be something special to beat Peter Cech from there. And of course, it was something special. It was absolutely delightful free kick that he managed to whip it over the wall so quick. He got enough pace and power on it. The, de the defenders in the wall couldn't believe how he managed to do it and he now picked up his 12th goal in the World Cup qualifiers. Unfortunately for us, they do get a good chance here. They go through, they hit the post, but thankfully Price manages to get there just before the defender and uh, put it out wide uh, for a uh, corner kick. But nothing come off that corner kick and we went on the counter-attack. Vokes was through, he has a good shot and we make it 3-0. And Vokes, in the 65th minute, pretty much wrapped up the game, wrapped up the tie, wrapped up the group stages and look, we were definitely going to be progressing now as we just annihilated every single team that we've had in our qualifiers so far. And Gareth Bale was through, he plays ball across to Vokes, Vokes slides in but unfortunately for us, uh, nothing come off of it and um, they do the match to make the save but and also um, our defender or our winger does actually get injured which is a little bit disappointing. But that's actually going to be it for this episode so if you did enjoy the episode please make sure to hit the like button down below as it is very very much appreciated. And I really do hope to see you next time for the next episode of the Portsmouth Crew Mode tomorrow. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time very, very soon. Bye-bye.